players on their own are just... I mean, the way they've been playing so far with that rail, their defense. One thing I do want to see a little bit more of, which is kind of unfortunate because we're not seeing it much here. Um, I mean, if you're thinking one guy attacking versus three, it's a constant clutch situation, as I would call it in Call of Duty. So by all means, you always follow the guy that's in the clutch. But I would love to see some of the defensive sides. I would love to see how these guys are actually looking at the defense. How are they viewing it from their perspective? Are, you know, are they being aggressive because they know something we can't see from the attacking person's view? Are they being defensive because they think the player is somewhere else? Or, you know, I would love to see a little bit from their angle. Fortunately, we can't just say or click a button and say watch defense. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more focus on them. And I really hope this game doesn't just come down to we always watch the attacking player. Yeah, I agree it's with that entirely. Attacking. It's, I mean, defense is equally as important. I agree with you entirely. Uh, something to, to, to make note of here, Avec once again is disconnected from the game. I, I think there is some technical issue. There is some setup problem because we had the exact same problem when Millennium played their first match against Murkops. And the only reason I point that out, Avic is a little bit of a rager. Avic, you know, he loses his cool, he gets very, very emotional at lands, and, and you know, I've seen him throw his toys out the cart once or twice, and if, if he's uncomfortable, if he's cross, if he's getting stressed out before the game has even started, it's going to affect his performance. So, yeah. you can see him in the background, it doesn't look like he's losing it right now, but you know, you don't have that warm-up time, you've got every single member of three old men, or three old dot, what is it, three old men, sitting there getting their getting their eye in getting their uh, 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 rail shots landed etc you know mm -hmm. no i mean of course emotions are a big factor that come into this game one of the people i find the best the one um this is now unfortunately a little bit off the off these guys for a moment but there's a player called uh liquid hero plays for team liquid.net um he is the most passionate StarCraft 2 player I've ever seen. When he won DreamHack uh, 2011, him standing on stage crying, I felt like crying with him. He was like, oh. He, 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 you just get such a sense of what these guys actually go through. And, I mean, emotions are a big thing in this game. Raging, of course, is part of it. Some people are just naturally born. I hate losing. I can't stand losing. When I came third to you, um, it, it was like the biggest knock to, to my life ever. I sat in the corner for three months and cried. It's just, can't take <laughs> it, man. Yeah, winning winning rocks. Winning always rocks. Now we do see Avic has just reconnected. The warm-up phase immediately ended and Avic has just tossed straight into the deep end. No warm-up time. No time to get his aim in. Millennium take on three old men and man, that is an awesome team logo. Did you see the team logo? The black and white old men. That's cool. So Strengths is going to be opening up this first round. 43 seconds on the clock. Moving towards that booster pad on the left-hand side. Very, very aggressive start from three old men. You've just seen the three characters moving forward. He's going to immediately see some people here on the right. There's that first rocket. Just, just missing. One of the members is in the tunnel. You can see that Swedish flag floating around. I think that might be Faz. Noctis is now on that middle bridge, sitting on the defender's spawn. Faz is in the background, so it's one in front, one behind. And let's see if this is uh, this positioning is going to pay off because we haven't seen too many aggressive plays on archways just yet. And this is what I like to see. Slightly more movable, slightly more mobile gameplay. Rockets are everywhere. Listen to those sound effects. It's flying everywhere. Swedish flag down. First one, first blood is claimed by strengths. Three points of armor, misses the shot onto Noctis, loses one point of armor, starts capturing, manages to pick up the kill. Noctis is left alone. Two points of armor, one point of armor left remaining. He manages to pick up the kill. <laughs> and strengths does it. 39% channel. That was awesome. I think my stream might be a little bit of ahead of yours because I'm already into the next round. Already 30 seconds down the clock. And, uh, you know, I got Fox running up here on the right hand side. Am I a little bit forward? You Am are. I've just refreshed my stream. Okay, cool. So, 21 seconds, 20 seconds left on the clock now. And uh, we do see Fox pushing up here on the right hand side. Has got the capture point in view. No damage taken as of yet. Hasn't lost any of his shields. Unfortunately for him, he's stuck behind a rock and there's rockets, <laughs> rockets flying on either side of the rock. Difficult for him to jump out. Seems like he has made a little bit of a headwind, but unfortunately, falling right back behind it making sure that he um, is covered to an extent. The goal is now open for to be captured, as you can see on their screen. Unfortunately, all three players for Millennium are just standing in wait and being like, what's up?
And uh, unfortunately, the defenders take that one. It wasn't much of a, a problem for them. Yeah, sup, Sun. So 2-0 in favor of Millennium. We see we are almost about to break the 800 viewer mark. Just for everybody that's on stream to give you a quick rundown, this is a three versus three team format. One team attacks, one team defends. When I say team, it is going to be one versus three. The attacker has the railgun, one shot kill. The defenders have the rocket launchers. It is that first to six points in a best of five. So I know I just threw everything at you, but we'll have to see exactly. You can get an idea of it. There's the three old men logo floating on the defender's spawn. I like that built-in first blood of this round. Cypher manages to remove Fox. Lands a very close range rocket and the splash damage from those rockets knocking him up into the air. Cypher is now trying to land this laser shot, trying to land it onto the Swedish fizz, uh, player of Faz. It's a rocket in exchange. So two players and two armor make it one armor. Cypher's the only one left available. One armor available. If he does not land this next kill, he may end up crossing. He misses him into Faz. That is so crucial. And all those rockets being tossed up. That's the first point on the board for three old men. Yeah, coming in from the same angle. I mean, two guys standing right next to each other. The rockets coming directly at you. There's not much you can do to avoid them, especially when they're spamming in the exact same way. Can't really predict where it's going to go. And uh, yeah, as you mentioned, point, uh, a point to them finally on the board. Now we do have Noctis seeing if he can maybe get a second one for them on the attacking side, seeing if we a string around back to back. But it uh, looks like the Millennium players know exactly where his position is. He has taken a hit, already lost one shield, and he is yet to see a Millennium player. Now uh, making his way up on the left-hand side, Arch. Yeah does spot a couple players in the distance and that's where the rail should be to his advantage he should be able to pick off some of those players but it just doesn't seem that those shots are connecting as of yet moving over towards middle has got the spawn point for the defenders in sight and now finally moving up here onto the ridge there is one second left before the cap is now open to be taken but before that can even happen he has taken too many hits shields are gone and that'll mean that it is 3-1 in favor of Millennium. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You know, the, the players of Three Old Men, they did well as a team against um, uh, uh, the, the Merc Ops, the Americans of Merc Ops, but individually they just didn't, it didn't feel like they were doing that great. And when you consider of the first four rounds, we managed to pick up, I think, two rounds on attack and one round on defense. Millennium are doing very, very well at the moment. Um, you know, with those rails, managing to secure the kills, managing to, you know, cap the points, and, and that's what's what's super, super important. And of course, you've also got to remember that on defense, Cypher, known to be one of the best rocket launch and wielding Quake live players ever, uh, you know, he's going to be able to just use all those production shots. So, rockets flying out, first point has already been chunked off Avic. This is his first round on attack in round number four, down to two armor, three players, Point blank, Rail picks up one, misses the second one into the duos of the Swedes. The third shot does reply with a kill though. One versus one, one point of armor versus one player. Seven seconds to cap. Fox is camping and manages to land a very easy rocket shot to the chest. And Avic shut down at the end, but a valiant effort nonetheless. 3-2, they sort of have that break point at the moment that they, they can utilize, you know, try the thing. The thing about to me an advantage is once you have the advantage, you kind of have, I don't want to say a round to waste, but you have a round that you can start, you know, playing a little bit more relaxed on. You can try different things. You can try catch the players out. And uh, now with Millennium being that round up, I wouldn't, you know, be surprised if I saw them being a little bit more aggressive. Try close the round off earlier. Try put fans in a situation he's not used to. Millennium logo right up in Faz's face though as he makes his way towards the defending spawn. And uh, now trying to make his way up to the capturing point. We do see him peeking up a couple of times. None of them connecting though. And uh, with rockets coming in from every which direction, finally moves over to take out Abeg. Uh, very nice little jump shot off the edge. But a little simple jump shot like that, you think, oh, it's a quick little maneuver, but he's actually wasted three seconds and that procedure brings um, Cypher out of cover though. It takes him out. Third shot connecting onto uh, Strengths. And my word, Millennium dropping quick succession. Faz wins the round. Huge, huge, huge rail there. That very last shot was immense. Such short range. And that little flick just over to the right hand side to the right of that tower managed to pick it up. So, really, really nicely done. But we're going to see now 3-3 uh, three, three scores are tied up. First person to six rounds will be victorious. And now we see Strengths. He's moved through that left archway, moved onto this middle ramp, trying to find somebody to pick off, trying to find someone to actually secure a kill with but unfortunately no one revealing themselves just yet you just see the little swedish name tag floating on the left hand side of those rocks 
and strengths. The Frenchman is trying to find somebody to shoot, trying to find somebody to hit. Got a really, uh, really nice European lineup at the moment. Manages to take one armor down, replies with a kill onto Faz. Fox and Noctis left. 13 seconds to pick it up. Manages to jump over the wall and delete Noctis with a great rail. Managed to catch him on the bottom left leg, it looked like. Gonna move up to try capture this flag. That's two shots, that's three shots. Four rockets down. Gonna need to be replenishing the shot. Trying to capture, only gets 19%. Strengths was not on the capture point, and Avic does not look impressed. Now, I'm gonna sound stupid, be, uh, probably by asking this, but if the, if the defender is actually on the capture point, does it allow the capturing percentage to go up? It delays it. It slows it, it down. It. Yep, so okay. the, the, the speed so it actually prevents it. Correct, yep. All right, okay, cool. They're just clearing that one up. But now with Fox here, gonna be pushing up here onto the archway once more. Loads of rockets flying in his direction. Standard opening so far. And it looks like he's gonna be going off to the left-hand side. Now, Fox, with his team having the one-round advantage, the three old men, what will they be doing with it though? Can they extend that lead or will they just be dropping back to allow Millennium to catch up once more? Nine seconds before the point opens up. We do see him finally moving up onto the hill. He has spotted, I believe that was Avic in the distance. This little Polish flag, flag flick across the screen. Goal is now open to be captured and he's got 10 seconds to make absolute miracles happen. Loads of rockets flying in his, in his direction. Tries to move up onto the point, gets to 58%, quickly shut down. And unfortunately, it's now down to 4-4. So scores are tied, and you know what? It's looking like maybe my, uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to waver. I still feel that Millennium can win this. Mm -hmm. But uh, I did not expect the performances coming out from um, three old men, specifically on their rails. It definitely looks like that extra game of warm-up and having this few minutes to maybe get their eye in a little bit has helped. Because uh, the rails coming out from these guys are really, really good at the moment. Faz up on the left-hand side, Noctis taking the middle portion of the map. Rockets flying out a plenty, and you have Fox over on the far right-hand side. So opting not to go for that aggressive defense this time round. Moving back, camping the flag a little bit more, you know, sitting on the uh, uh, slightly more defensive positioning, and it seems to be paying off. And look at this hyper-aggression now, moving all the way forward, chasing him down three versus one. Cypher gets caught in a corner. Nowhere to run. And you know what? They just made me sound like a liar. Just as I say, there's no aggression. They all jump over the wall as a three-man push. I guess what I mean, for extraordinary things to happen, you need to try a couple of extraordinary tactics. They needed to get that round into the lead, and they wanted to close it off nice and quick, make sure that the next attack of that is going to be on for uh, the Millennium side will uh, be a lot more, you know, I, I kind of want to say passive, because he could be expecting a massive rush like that once again. And we just see Noctis now going to be up here for three old men. And uh, just making sure that he's not being rushed himself, making sure that the same tactic is not being used against him. He has spotted Cypher off to his left-hand side, unable to hit the shot, and Cypher does actually connect, meaning he is now down that one shield. And that is actually such a big problem. He hasn't made any headwind towards that point. He hasn't really been able to lay down any decent shots towards the defenders. And uh, so far, just a bunch of pot shots, nothing connecting as of yet. We do see him moving up to the point, actually lands the shot there onto Strength. Tries to get the capture, he does do it. Unbelievably, Millennium having no rocket to use and they just couldn't stop him. I did not expect that by any means. Yeah, so well played. It, it, the timing as well, you see just how quickly that channel actually goes when there's no one else around. You know, just jumping on it, you hear that thing powering up, that managing to capture it. But the problem was, there was nobody close by. You know, they did not expect that balls to the wall rush and it ended up um, uh, costing them the round. So what was that put in? What did that put into score? Five, four, five, five, six. That makes it five, four. So let's see if no, that's. Is it five, five? Because Millennium had the aggressive attack after it was four, four to get the point lead. Then it was five. Yeah, it's five, five. So that's wait for even, it. Well, maybe wait for it. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's just straight to six rounds because it looks like we've gone straight to crossroads. So then so it was six, four. Six, four. Yeah, it would have been okay. Well then, six, been four. Six, four. So six course. four two point no, lead. Trevor. Yeah, my, uh. my my bad, my bad. I wasn't looking at numbers. My my brain is just destroyed with numbers right now. So we're on to crossroads. Crossroads we've seen aggressive, we've seen defensive. Every time we have seen it played though, it does tend to be in favor of the def the defensive side. So let's see who is gonna be up and attacking first. It is going to be 
Millennium versus three old men. Man, I love that logo. That is such a cool that is logo. Such a nice logo. I love the Millennium logo too, though. Yeah, it is really cool. Fox is going to be attacking. So three old men. They are going to be setting the pace here. You can see the whole left-hand side of that map. It's not, it's not used extremely often. And as I said, that Fox is moving straight over there. And look at the positioning now from Strengths and from, uh, from Avec. Moving up on the left-hand side, using those fences to their position. We see Noctis doing that earlier with such great uh, positioning. You know, juking in and out of those laser shots, firing out those rockets, because, of course, rockets and the laser, the rail, do not go through the fence. It does not go through that fence, guys. 13 seconds on the clock before the capture point becomes available, and Fox is scared. You know, Fox knows where they are. I mean, that's just taunting. That's just saying, hey, we know you're there. Cypher is now available, and look at the positioning. Four rockets coming out. One has already landed. Now they're taking, manages to pick up a kill on behind. I think that's the first one to fall for Millennium. Now he's going to jump in. The second one goes down. That's uh, Cypher now removed. Strength with it all to do. Lands one. And Fox manages to win the round. I didn't actually see if he picked up the kill or he captured the point. Uh, it was the kill. It was actually the kill. So nicely kill done end. from Fox there. Strengths dropping him down to one armor, but uh, unfortunately missing that last rocket. The, the pencil maneuver that they actually had from Millennium was really well played, though. I like the fact that they had, you know, one pretty much on each side hit. They had one in front of him, one off to his right, and one off to his left. And as soon as he moved in, they just decided spam rockets. And uh, it worked really well. Unfortunately, we're just not able to close it off fully. And uh, with Strengths, the one now on attack, seeing if he can do something big here for his team. Made his way up on the right-hand side. There is a player towards the top of the hill. He didn't want to save by that castle. And uh, will he be able to do anything with that player? Unfortunately, he is being closed up. He's being forced back by the defenders. All three of them now coming together just in front of that capture point. Three seconds before the spot is made available for him. Will Strength make his way quickly over to that spot? Unfortunately not. There's 10 seconds for him. All three players are pretty much hiding from him. And uh, hasn't lost anything, but unfortunately won't be able to gain anything. Has taken two shots of armor damage. <laughs> we just see <laughs> Fox just dodging left and right. And I think that's one of the only things I can complain about so far is just... Tapping left and right makes it so difficult to hit and predict the player. And the animation looks so funny. You just seen it there. Uh, was that Fox who was, who was in target? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Character model. Insta left, insta right, insta left, insta right. Which is great for competitor because it's quick and it's responsive. But unfortunately, it's just like a, an absolute mind game. Yeah, exactly. So Noctis is uh, on the attack this time round, already, already picking up the kill. Removing Cypher, now removing Strengths as well, lining up the shot onto Avic. This is going to be... Uh, is he going to be able to take out Avic? There we go, lands at three for three. Three old men, uh, maybe shining through, super confident at the moment. And just look at their faces. And compare that to the likes of Millennium. They're stressed, they're nervous, and maybe three old men going to walk away with this 3-0. and mm, Could do. You never know, though. We'll have to see how it plays out. Really wish the cameraman would go back to in-game, though. That would be uh, nice. Because <laughs> there's a player walking around on the field, and there we go. Uh, so there's only 25 more seconds left in this match. It is Cypher. And he is trying to find either Faz, Noctis, or Fox. Anywhere in his sights, there is one just in front of him. And that player will be. They don't actually show the flag. Oh, it is Noctis. Now he has moved in on this capture point. Unable to connect to the player that has just dropped down in front of him. You can see all, all three players for the three old men pretty much surrounding him. And three old men, 4-0, and o, just cleaning up right now. And it feels like a little bit of a... I'm going to use this word and I feel bad using it. But it's a little bit of a choke from Millennium. You know, like the way they were playing, what we've seen from them earlier, this is not the same. On the same token, though, I think that now this is uh, this is now three old men actually coming into the game and playing. Look at the positioning, look at the way they're moving, look at the way they're working as a team and things like that. It's so, so strong and so, so effective. So I like what I'm seeing and I like the strategy. Point blank, Avic comes up ahead, manages to land two shots, in fact. Avic just going one to one. Fez hasn't even pulled his trigger. He did not want to miss, but it cost him two points of armor. Now he is going to shoot and miss that off. Avic lining up those shots, trying to land them. Murkops fell prey to that in the very last round of their game. Cypher and Avic moving forward. Belarusian and the Pole shooting through there. I think I've seen a French flag coming around the corner as well. Cypher's now coming up from behind. Avic's there. Look at the rockets. The crossfire finally manages to connect. And Avic does, in fact, land the final hit. So three for three.
Really nicely done there. That was a very, very, very solid defense uh, from Millennium uh, pushing forward. I mean, they knew where the player was. They knew exactly how to isolate him to that to the corner of that building. They didn't let him move out far. And when he finally did, they all just three pretty much converged on him. It was like, nope, you're not going anywhere. And now with Avic, going to see if he can go from that strong defense. Can he have a strong attack? The problem for him is he's kind of channeled himself here in between a, pretty much a building and a, a rock. And uh, we'll have to try and get out of there as soon as he can, because if the, all three of those players decide to pressure that area, there is no way he could run. And he's got the tunnels in front of him, and only 12 seconds to work with to try and get all the way over to that capture point. And this is the kind of thing where the time is really tight. He has to use it like, as effective as he can. And the thing is, as this point opens up, he's got so little time to capture it and make something happen that he needs to be getting kills in the opening 45 seconds. Now Rocket's coming in towards the doorway. He is able to land a shot, but he's taken two hits in exchange. Now moving through to the doorway. As soon as he comes around here, so many Rockets going to be in his face. Can one of them connect? Oh, he actually takes one out. But unfortunately, there's no time for him. And three old men will pick it up on time. And to me, that's always a bad one if you're losing the round on time because it just means you're not managing your time well enough. Yeah, you're not playing aggressive enough, especially in this game where you're 1v3. The entire game mode is designed around being hyper aggressive and designed around committing to those fights and committing to those pushes. So, you know, if you literally cannot afford to spend 30 seconds camping if you're not shooting. You know what I mean? It's different if you're mm -hmm. trying to find targets. It's different if you're trying to pick somebody up. That's not the case. So now we do see 5-1 up. Fox potentially going to be winning map number 2 for 3 old men. If he can close this one out. And there is some lag on my stream right now. It appears to have gone offline. Oh, I have the same. Oh, I have just refreshed it. Let's see if that's back. Yeah, the stream died and came back to life. I have no idea what happened there, guys. I'm really, really sorry. But we see that strength is now 2 one up. I'm going to assume he manages to land three. So three old men definitely picked up that previous round. Yeah, so they're on two and oh, and Millennium now have that one point. And I have no idea what happened there, guys. I'm really, really sorry about that. The stream went offline and then came back online. So I can only assume that there was... Oh, the men in back flashed us all, and we actually missed out that part in our life. Yeah, something like that. So strengths opening up round number one, going quick three and oh. Fox is now replying. Dennis, you want to take this round? Let's go for it. So, Swedish man Fox, the Swedish powerhouse. Let's see what he can do for his team. They're currently one down, but they do have quite a big map advantage. Now, uh, moving over towards the spawn, and this seems like the very, I want to say, seemingly standard attacking path uh, for the three old men at the moment. Millennium seems to be converging on that spot, and they seem to be very comfortable just utilizing that massive pillar over on the low, uh, on the capture point and just pretty much ducking covering behind it. The capture point is now open. All three players are still alive. As soon as he drops down here, Rocket's going to be flying straight into his face. He's already taken one, takes two, grabs a kill, but uh, we'll be seeing him taken out very quickly afterwards. And that is now on a 2-0, actually, in favor of Millennium, and they go back onto attack. Yeah, so strong opening on this map on uh, Solar Flare, but it, it You've got to wonder now, is it too little too late? Will three old men be able to adapt and learn and come back? Now we're going to see Cypher running through those uh, tunnels. He's got that sprint function running, that jetpack powered up. And exactly like you said, Solar Flare, the favored uh, side to attack is this right-hand side. I definitely think the old men would have heard the footsteps. Unfortunately, Cypher misses that rail shot, so not able to pick up the early kill. Forcing himself back over to the defender's spawn. Peeking over on the right-hand side, an angle we haven't seen just yet. Trying to look for an opening, trying to look for somebody. Looking for those jump shots, manages to jump out, eat one rocket, two rockets, forces himself, manages to get out of there somehow, and a third rocket to the top of his head. That takes his head off, and that's a round on the board for three old men. Yeah, I mean, it was it was one of those where it just it didn't seem to work out for, for him in the end, and now sitting with such a big lead, um, we'll have to see how it, it, they decide to close this one off. I say massive lead, I meant 2-1. Because that's how I like to see a massive lead. It is a lead and it's massive. So, Noctis on the attack now. He's going to try and make it up for his team to try and even out the scores once more. And again, this the standard right-hand side attack. The thing for me is this, thought become, this becomes a little bit repetitive now. They know what to expect. They know he's going to go up onto the hill all the way back to their spawn. Once he's done that, he's either got to go over the bridge or he's got to go to the top of the hill. We know what happens when you get to the top of the hill. And we know what happens when you try and cross this bridge and this player's on the capture point. So... 
it's it's gotten to the point that in this matchup they need to start looking at trying a different attacking attacking paths or they need to really start closing off their skills and we do see that happening noctis has grabbed two kills both avic and cypher are down strengths now the only man standing and he's being heavily pressured Rockets coming in every direction, but oh man, Noctis steals the cap. <laughs> and that'll bring it back to the 2-2, exactly what they wanted. So that evens it up. And it looked like Strings panicked just a little bit there. You know, he got that first hit and then depleted all the rest of his rockets. You could literally hear that bang and then bang, bang, bang. Um, and not one of those rockets hit. So unfortunately, not securing the kill, not picking up the round. And that means three old men even it out 2-2. Two so Avek is now on the attack once again, featuring on the right-hand side. He's going a slightly longer path, heading over to those yeah, twin towers, if you can call them that, of the pillars. <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds on the clock. I think that's the best naming <laughs> for a bowling. Waiting for, uh, waiting for the uh, uh, timer to, or the capture point to be available. Dodging those early rockets. Ooh, almost walking into the rockets there from Noctis. Still going to be able to jump across in just a few seconds if he doesn't mess it up. There goes the speed boost. Almost eats the rocket from Faz. Very aggressive. Picks up the kill into the testicles of the Swedish Fox. Eats one rocket from Noctis. Now forced backwards. Blown all the way down the bridge. Six seconds to pick up two kills or to capture. He's got to go now. He's running out of time. He's missed the shot. He eats another rocket to the face. And unfortunately loses the round. Yeah, it's one of those things when he gets so down to it. And as soon as he took that rocket that pushed him back, he knew there was no way he could get to the point and decided, well, I'll have to let this one roll off and hope that we pick it up on defense and then once again get that run on attack. I mean, it's it's the one thing. I mean, it's it's actually, I love the matchup with this whole one attack, three defense kind of thing because in a sense, it's, it's I want to say it's even. As much as it's three really good players with rocket launchers and one player with, uh, you know, a laser gun, it's... Uh, the, the three shields really does even this one out nicely. We do see Avic going to be the first one to drop here as Faz makes his way up here. Once again, on the right-hand side of the map, actually going for the jump across, makes his way onto the cap point. There was no one to stop him, and he lands the shot onto Cypher. He just needs to go up onto Strengths now. There's a couple of seconds before that cap point opens up. Oh, and Strengths jumping up. He's got to be very careful. He can't be hanging that long in the air. Faz moving forward. Points opened up. Boosters are on. He moves forward. He takes a hit. Takes a second. Can he be shut down? The point's going up and the goal gets captured. And that'll be fast taking him for his team. And that'll be that massive break point that they want. They win the round on the attack. Then are two runs into the lead. And as soon as they go into defense, which some might say will be a little bit of an easier side to try and stop the attacker, um, they might just grab themselves another point, which has put them at 5-2 in the lead, which is no doubt what they're going to be working towards now. And such good rockets actually from strengths, but just... You know, just too little, you know, he managed to land two really good rockets, the left and the right hand side of that flag. But because there'd been no earlier damage, it wasn't enough to secure the kill and it's three hits that count. So now we see Strengths once again moving up on the right hand side and I can only, oh, beautiful shot, they're opening it up. Deleting Faz, he drops off the bridge there instead of hopping over the, the, the uh, side. They may buy him some time, it may give him some ability to peek. I think somebody might be up on the right hand side of that mountain. We can't see any name tags just yet. And so now he's going to commit over this jump over. Beautiful jumps off the wall. Takes Noctis out and a very nice shot to close it out onto Fox. And Strengths' rail is definitely on form on Solar Flare. It is deadly right now. And I really don't think that the three old men were expecting such an aggressive play, let alone such a perfect laser. It's about to call it a railgun. Laser. Such a perfect laser coming out from strength. And I mean, that's really what the team needed right there. A little bit of a moral boost, a little bit of kick in the butt, just wake them up, um, you know, and remind them, even though that they are in the lead, they can't let their guard down. And uh, now we will be seeing Fox once again, the Swedish man up on the right hand side. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know my ramblings of, of where it's going to be going from here. Has spotted a Cypher all the way at the top of the hill. Cypher's going to lay down a couple of rockets, just make sure that he doesn't stay in the same place for too long and I think that's one of the big things about the rocket is you can't stand in the same spot for too long. As soon as you do, one of those rockets can easily connect with you. We do see Fox trying to move as much as he can. Going to go for the jump. There's a rocket to deny him but he actually makes it up just onto the edge. Points open for capture. Can he get it? Oh, he does! And once again, Millennium just can't stop the defense as soon as they die for that point. There's just not enough of them and you know, they're just not handling the situation correctly to actually stop the three old men from capping the points. Yeah, completely, completely snuck it out. So, uh, what was that score point now? Is that 5-2 map point and game point now? Mm-hmm, that so is correct. I'm going to have to see whether or not three old men can pick this up. Cypher with an early rocket 
uh, uh, or eating an early rocket rather, loses one point of armor. It does mean now that he's on the back foot. Only two points of armor against the two, you know, players or the two uh, defend three defenders rather. I think that two now is. Faz does get deleted. Everyone picks on Faz. He's always the first one to go down. Slightly a weird positioning as well. He's going to be looking for another kill. Those rockets went left. Rockets went right. Noctis on the left-hand side. Fox on the right. Repositioning themselves around the flag. It's going to be available for capture very, very shortly. And Cypher, he's the one, he's the one that's going to make the plan. And I don't like this positioning. Well, he's going to go up on the wall. So it's a slightly different. He misses the shot. That is going to be crucial because he's going to give him rockets time to recharge. As soon as he drops down, this is where the problem comes in. Noctis is available. Six seconds, five seconds. He misses it onto Noctis. Rocket up the bum hole. Followed up by one more rocket to clear it out. And a 3-0 for three old men. Mm -hmm. Picking up a really strong performance. And uh, winning against Millennium in stunning fashion. Now, I want to say this is now one of the th weird things for me. As we saw the three old men, um, you know, they knew how to sit exactly on that capture point. Especially later on into the round. They knew how to hold it. They knew how to defend it. And on the attack, they didn't seem, you know, as aggressive as Punchy. Whereas... Millennium had the exact opposite. They were aggressive and punchy, pushing forward really hard, but then they sucked at defense. <laughs> That's pretty much the only way to put it. And if they just kind of learned from each other a little bit, I think both of these teams would have not only had like a massive skill jump against each other, uh